Have you ever thought about using GoFundMe to pay your medical bills? Well, I never thought about it either, but some things have come up recently that have kind of brought this to the surface, and I decided to look into it. This is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. All right, many of you probably remember the headlines that hit a few months ago about how Mary Lou Retton uh, had started a GoFundMe page to pay for medical bills. And there was a lot of discussion about that and finger pointing and speculation and everything else, and you know, which is totally unnecessary. Uh, but just the idea of using GoFundMe to pay for medical bills caused me to, well, let's, let's start looking at it. So it turns out the, the uh, most popular uh, source, topic, whatever it is, most, most popular topic for GoFundMe pages is unpaid medical bills. And, well, how successful is that? Well, according to the folks at GoFundMe, 88% of folks who start a GoFundMe page to pay their outstanding medical bills never hit their goal. So if it's something that you're relying on, you might want to consider doing something different. Now, there's different reasons why people are un, uh, unable to pay their bills, and, uh, and more often than not, it's because they have inadequate insurance. So this leads to the question of, would you be better off as far as being able to manage your care and your bills to get better insurance and perhaps pay a higher premium, or do you want to rely on the charity of others and friends and, and neighbors and so forth to help you pay for your medical bills. I'd say it's a lot easier to come up with the money for the premium than it is to come up with thousands of dollars to pay outstanding medical bills, but that's just my observation. This is Bob Vineyard, your Medicare expert with the Georgia Medicare Minute. You take care. Have a great day.